make sure that you have made Jesus your choice. Be the author and the finisher of our faith. And we can lean and depend upon him. And he, he can't fail. Mm -hmm. We can, but he can. Amen. And if we obey him, then he is able to give us spiritual wisdom. I'm not talking about natural wisdom. That's a spiritual wisdom. He is able to give it to you. Whilst you have an education or not, you don't have to have no education for him to give you spiritual wisdom. Amen. That tells me that love is the best. God loved us when we were the love. Amen. So we have so much to be grateful and thankful for. We want you to look at the book, Colossus, third chapter, first, I guess, to the entire chapter. And we want you for Sunday today, thing that we must do to become a full, developed Christian. Amen. You come a Christian in the moment that you accept Jesus Christ, but Jesus desires a spiritual uh, that we may be able to mature and grow in the grace of God. Full developed Christian and not led by our IQ. It is led by the Spirit. The Spirit of God that quickens to make us, us alive. So we do have so much to be grateful and thankful for. Amen. The Bible let us to know that we become a Christian when we accept Jesus for our personal Savior. But we all were babes in Christ. The Lord desires us to grow in the grace of God and become a full developed Christian. There are some things we must do that we may please God. We are told to seek the thing that is above. Amen. Not thing on this earth. Amen. Amen. No thing on this earth is just temporary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the spiritual thing is eternal. Amen. And we give God the praise. Amen. It ain't about us, but it's about Jesus. Amen. And our hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and His righteousness. Amen. His righteousness is within us. Mm -hmm. Everyone who has made that confession with the mouth and believe in the heart, heart that it will God raise Jesus from the dead, Jesus has done something for you that can't be taken away from you. Amen. Amen. There are things in this life, people can come in and take it. Mm -hmm. But they can't take what God has put in the earth and vessels Amen. to everyone that believe in the finished work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, what does the Lord desire to us when we accept Him? He desires that we may be able to mature and grow in the grace of God. Why? Amen. Because He wants us to be helpers of one another. Amen. A babe in Christ. Amen. He can't help. He can't help Himself. Amen. But sister and brother, this how come he wants us to mature and grow in the grace of God that we may be able to seek, amen, and be a blessing to others and to also seek, amen, love the one that man who is unlovable. You're going to run up with some people that are not lovable. Mm -hmm. Amen. But what is our job? Our job still is to love them. See, like I didn't get my name in when I say love right. those that don't care less than for you. Amen. That's what the Lord desires. Amen. 
Uh, he didn't wait to us to get saved and then say, you don't think I love you. Amen. He loved us, sister, brother, when? When we were the lovable. When we didn't have nothing for him to do. The Bible tells us God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall never believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen, sister, brother. He did it because of one word. What is that word? Love. He loved us when we were the love. Amen. So we have so much to be grateful and thankful for. All of his goodness and all of his benefits. Again, the thing that we must do, amen, to become a full developed Christian. Amen, that we may be a blessing to others. We are ready now to go to the word of God. Colossus. Amen. And this uh, message today, amen, is dealing with Christian and Christian families. Before I get through with this message, it's going to be dealing with the families. It's going to be dealing with those, amen, who have put their confidence in the Lord, in the boss men that you're working for. Amen. They could be a blessing to us. Amen. We ready now to go to the Word of God. Look at the book, Colossus. Amen. The third chapter and the first verse. If ye then be risen with Christ. Amen. He talked about if you, amen, to be risen with him, you must be saved. Amen. He's talking to them who would accept Jesus Christ for their personal Savior. If you be rhythm of Christ, then what we must do according to the scripture. Seek those things which is above. I hope we see this. Amen. Our seeking shouldn't be, amen, number one worthy thing. It should be seeking things above. Amen. That we'll be able to become what God has ordained us to be. Amen. The Bible said, well, Christ sat on the right hand of God. Amen. He tells us what we do with our mind now. He says, set your affection. Set your mind on things. What is that word? Above. Amen. Not what thing on this earth. Oh, I hope we can recognize that fact. Amen. Not on thing on this earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Amen. Who are you talking about? He talking about those who have accepted him for their personal savior. So what we need to do, we need to examine somebody. Yes. Who is it that we need to examine? Yes. Our own self to make sure, mm -hmm. and very sure, that we know who Jesus is. Because if you are saved, ain't but one place for you. Uh -huh. Amen. You go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Ain't nobody can do nothing about it. Amen. Even if you ain't never the babe. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you ain't never the babe, guess what? Mm -hmm. When you leave this world, where are you going? Uh -huh. You're going to glory. <laughs> amen. Now, as I said the other week, amen, sister and brother, what we can do, we can lose our reward, mm -hmm. but not eternal life. Uh -huh. yes, he said, I give you eternal life and you will never Oh, I hope we see these Amen. truths. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to, when you get it, you ain't got to go and ask the Lord, Amen, give it to you. Amen. He's already given it to you. You say, Oh, I hope we see these truths. The Bible tells us every move on down to this full verse. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him. In what? 
fills that word. Glory. Amen. That's what awaits the child of God. Glory. Amen, sisters and brothers. God has a plan. Then he tell us what we need to do about this old man. Amen. What he said, he said, modify, put it to death. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't be led by it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope we see this. Modify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, as nature, amen, of uh, affection, evil, concussion, covenant, which is idolatry. Amen. Those things, sister and brother, is a hinder. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they always is what? Is it natural? Amen. Just natural thing, mm -hmm. not spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. For which things say the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience? Who are the children of disobedience? The children of disobedience they know that we will not accept Jesus Christ. For their personal Savior. The Bible tells us, as we go on down to this seventh verse here, in which ye also walk sometime, because we were born in sin and shaken the naked. Amen. Is that right? Uh -huh. Amen. When ye live in them. Amen. That's where we come from, all of us, because of one man. Who is that man? Amen. Who sold us out? Adam. Amen. Who is that man who bought us back? Adam. The second Adam. And who is the second Adam? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sister, brother, ain't it good to know God have already fixed everything that needs to be fixed? Uh -huh. Amen. Somebody say he will fix it. Well, I better knew than that. <laughs> he already fixed this Amen. thing, sister and brother. Amen. But the Bible tells us, he said, but now, amen, he also put off all the anger, wrath, malice, black, fleeing, amen, fitly, amen, communication, amen, out of your mouth. We are not to walk, talk the old stuff we used to talk. Amen. I don't read nobody ever never talk no ugly stuff on ring, is it? Amen. All of us talk with sister and brother because we didn't know nothing but that. Oh, I hope we see this. But when we accept Jesus Christ, he made a vow phase in our life. Amen. The Bible tells us as a believer. Amen. Tell us how we supposed to be about each of us. Listen to this ninth verse. Lie not one to another. Seek that which ye have, amen, have put off the old man, and not only the old man, but what else? With his deeds. Amen, amen. Satan desires us to follow him, sister and brother. Amen. But Jesus Christ has paid us a sin debt for you. You don't have to follow him no longer. You used to have to follow him before you accept him. But now after accepting Jesus Christ, it's a new way. It's a way that he has given to every man. And he got his arm wide open. And what is he saying? Come unto me all that are laden and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Amen. Amen. Every move on down to this level verse, where there are neither Greek 
not a Jew, circumcision, amen, and uncircumcision, barbarian, scars, born or free, but Christ is all in all. He is in all of them that are saved. Uh -huh. Amen. And he is able to keep us. Amen. And many things going to come against us, but he is able to keep us from falling. Amen. We ought to tell him thank you. Amen. Amen. We ought to give him all the honor there in heaven. Amen. Amen. He tells us what to do. Amen. As we look at this 12th verse, but put their wrong. Amen. And the elect of God. Holy. Amen. And the love, vow, the mercy, kindness, humbleness. Amen. And mind. Meek and meekness. Amen. And what else? Something that we don't like. What is that last word? Long suffering. Long -suffering. Long -suffering. Yeah. Now he talked to the earth now. He ain't talking about that man who is lost. Amen, sister and brother. There are some things that we got to face down here. Amen. And then call you going through with some things down here. That don't mean you're lost. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, and I have suffered. Uh -huh. You know what he said? All yourself likewise with what? Thank the same time. Oh, I hope we see this. Amen. Forbearing. Amen. One another. And forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, amen, even as Christ will give you, so also ye do. Amen. Had we had a believe walk and walk, walk and walking around here mad at somebody and want to speak to him. Amen. Why they speak to you or not? I, I hope we see this. Uh -huh. Amen. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't like they are, mm -hmm. but you expect that to come from them. Uh -huh. But amen. You ought to love what God loves. Uh -huh. What the God love? God loves sinners. Uh -huh. Amen. If He didn't love sinners, He wouldn't have died for them. Uh -huh. Well, I hope we see these truths. Uh -huh. Amen. So what we ought to do? We ought to love sinners. Amen. And show love toward them. Why? Because can they show love? No, they can't, but who can? Oh, I, I hope we see these truths. Amen, sister and brother. And above all these things, what he tell us to do? Put on something. Put on what that child to me. Put on love. Oh, I hope we see this. Which is the born of perfectness. Amen. Amen. And let the peace of God rule in your heart. Amen. To which also ye are called in one body. What body? The body of Christ. Amen. And be thankful. Amen. We ought to be thankful, haven't we? We ought to give him all the honor and the praise. Because we know that he lived within us. And we know, sister and brother, if you live there, he ain't got to walk away from you. Amen. He's going to be there for you. Amen. To teach us. We have the inbred Holy Spirit on the inside. And what is he doing? He is teaching us as we open up this book. Amen. And study this book. You know what the Holy Ghost will do? The Holy Ghost will reveal the old truth to us. You ain't got to get it naturally. Amen. You got to get it through the Spirit. Amen, sister and brother. And he will give it to you if you don't know your name when you see it. Amen. Spiritual greatness come from the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us, every look at the 16th verse, Amen. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Amen. In our wisdom, teaching and admonish one another. Amen. In songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to who? To, to the Lord. Oh, I hope we see this, sister and brothers. God is good and in mercy and do it forever. And what's 
So now what do ye do? Amen. In words of thee, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thank to God, amen, the Father, how? By him. Amen. Now this talk about our duty toward our family and our loved one and the one who I'm working, amen, on the folks for work and all these talking about, amen, and the husband and wife. Amen. Talking about when you know who Jesus is. Amen. He tells them the first thing he said. He didn't put men up here first. But what, what, who did he put up there? I hope we see these shoes. Amen. Amen. Now he ain't talking about law folks here. He talking about those who are saved. Uh -huh. Amen, sister and brother. He said, why? Submit your self unto your own. What is that word? Husband. Maybe I need to go back over this again. Sometimes we want to meet ourselves everybody else. Yeah, yeah. But the husband. <laughs> Amen. Ain't, ain't much of him. <laughs> I'm leaning on Jabba. Amen. We need to recognize that, sister and brother, what the Lord tell us. Amen. How it's supposed to be. Let me go back over this scripture again. Amen. Why submit yourself into your own husband? And he is fit in the law. Now he tell the husband what he's supposed to do. Uh -huh. Amen, sisters and brothers. He said, husband, love your wife. And be not bitter against them. Uh -huh. Amen. Everybody have a job, don't they? Uh -huh. Amen. If you do it, God going to bless you. Then he going on down to the children. Oh, I hope we see this. But he talking about those who are saved. Is that right? He said, children, obey your parents in some things. Oh, I hope we see this. I hope we see it, sister and brother. Amen, for it is well pleasing into the Lord. And what we want to do, we want to obey him, don't we? Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us now how the Father children. Wow. Amen. Father, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Amen. We can make a mess out of our own children, can't we? If we do it the wrong way. But if we do it God's way, then our children are going to be blessed. Amen. The Bible tells us, Amen. Sir, Amen. Obey them that, amen, thank, amen. Let me go back over it again. Servant, obey in all things your master according to the flesh. Not with our service and men pleasers, but in the singleness of heart, doing what? Fearing God. Amen. You you win every time when you do it whose way? When you do it God's way, you're going to win every time. Whatever you do, amen, do it hardly, amen, and unto the Lord and not to who? Not to me. Oh, I hope we see this. Amen. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the, what is that word? Rewards. If you obey God, He's going to reward you. Oh, I hope we see this. Amen. Amen. Of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord. Amen. Christ. The Bible tells us every moon down to this 25th verse. But he that does wrong shall receive the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of person. God has a plan. Amen. Amen, sister and brother. And God's plan, I tell you, when it will work. Every time. Uh -huh. Amen. You ain't got to worry about it. Amen. Uh, God failed in that. Why? Because God can't fail. I tell you, that's because we are saved. That don't mean we can't fail. Mm -hmm. We can fail, but amen. We got an applicant that we can go to. Amen. And he won't leave you. Ain't, ain't, ain't it good to know, sisters and brothers, you 
been on your way somewhere. Uh -huh. Amen. You on your way to glory if you were saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you were, I'm not talking about somebody that member of the local assembly. I can be a member of local assembly still lost, uh -huh. but I can't know who Jesus is to be lost. Uh -huh. When I know him, amen, he guaranteed me eternal life. Amen. Yeah. Make sure that you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. And make sure if you have said yes to Him, it ain't but one place for you. Amen, Amen to that bone of glory. Amen. Amen to who is stopped. Okay. Amen when you have obeyed Him. Amen. He said, I give you eternal life. Yeah. 